but we are about for take off. So welcome to another edition of the Den and Now program tonight, today, this morning, this afternoon, the 12th of April, 2020. This is your host and presenter, Prince Emil Kroma, coming to you um, live and direct. So like I said, now just continuation of what we got yesterday and little lot of bits, okay? So but man, I want to go straight to the issue. Okay, because today we're not one waste time, we're not one waste with audience the time. And family, let me share, let me share this. We lost few people, and just where we um, um, entertain the really audio business. Recently, and I want to start with this, I want to start with the first lady. I can always try to avoid the first lady and the show because we really look for real issues. Then they, you know, yeah, the side issues it's important, but only when it's extremely important. Like we go, where we go, begin for mob justice sooner. Of course, that affects every one of us. So we get for looking to run. But not to wear like some newspaper page number three that you want to take up interest in them. No, that's a filthy mind. But a senior person, na, the party where you belong to, recently called the first lady a little sister. And the reason why this catch my mind, owing to all of what you go on in the country and what you go on between the two parties, then this senior person, in, a, a lady in person of Dr. Sylvia Blinden, Ola Inka Blinden, then happened for call the first lady, the little sister. Well, not a bad thing per se, it's a good thing, but this is the first lady. So that just um, kind of um, raised a um, flag for people that like we, we want to know what exactly they be, if anything they be in this. So I put up my antenna, talked to a few friends, and I begin to understand that there was a small relationship between the first lady and the um, 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 Dr. Sylvia Blinden going back 10, 15 years ago. And even at some point, then, you know, um, live in Gambia, Sylvia being a business in Gambia, Fatima India Rande, house sharing and the rest of it. What else would you know or what do you know about this story or waiting at your view on waiting do um, Dr. Blinden go refer to um, the first lady as little sister. Bear in mind that they talk about contextually, the context. Go ahead, please. Okay, and thank you very much, Brother Prince Emil Kuma. And I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all you guests that watch you right around the world. And um, I want to say thank you to you as well for giving me the opportunity on this platform for share ideas them about we country and um, what is happening like today. First of all, I want to say, although I'm a critic of the government, but I'm mostly, most of the time, a very, very um, objective critic. You know, I they looked in them. And look, waiting, correct, and try for look between right and wrong, and ex explain them as I see them. I mean, in, re in relation to the first lady, we we all know say we country in a very expect we get a very respectful culture. So they see say most of we not one comment to waiting the first lady they do or waiting they say because we really give that respect as a as a first lady. Now we country now like although maybe some of you na na na, na a small one, but we take a like mama. You know, that the country, I believe, say, Sylvia in kind of, um, what's the way you so, not the same, that sister, who because alone, we like, where I can always say, we all have brothers and sisters and they, in a small country. You know, so I believe, say, that that way, they, Sylvia said, it's to express to the first lady, for any first lady understand, say, we all in our family, they, we all in our brothers and sisters and they, you know, we are all one, we all they try for drive towards one goal way, now for push we country go before. But um, in relation to the first lady, lately we don't see some of the videos them where they don't they make, where they express some certain opinion them, where it was rather unfortunate because um, then you get one slogan and you say, you cannot bite the ants that feed you. You know, and um, when we all you as the first lady, you as the big mama of the country, would they expect say you get for sure some appreciation to you people them? You know, and whenever you address them, then for see that appreciation and that, you know, that waiting and calling towards them. And then the video them lately is been, been rather disappointing because I remember one of the other one where he said, salon people are not like true. This is a general 
um, speaking. That means say the Bible talks say one of salon people. Him. You know, say one people him, or two people or some salon people, him, but it says salon people him, not like true. And I believe say go must be say however salon people him, but say now over seven million people and a few people go most day they will go like true. So that statement itself is just a very, very questionable. Then again, the, the, the other statement about the mob justice. You know, you ask the big mommy, you ask the, the mommy for the nation. If you don't go begin to talk, say, for make mob justice against the people, eh, that was also very, very worrying and disappointing. I believe, say, many people don't comment about him, and many people don't talk about him, and it was rather unfortunate, you see. And um, it goes on and on and on and on. But I believe, say, maybe the, the, the first lady need a PR somebody, need somebody for advice, um, and try for they had a role for the supporting husband. Your husband as the, the first gentleman of the republic, you know, you get Boku all the way they play, where you know go in the, the post the project of you, you or you husband, or you know, the four the first gentleman of the country. So there are many, many things there where we all um, left a little bit baffled on why would the, the first lady they make short comments. And it is unfortunately very disappointing. We had to say it, and um, you know, but please say many people and we see Alonians them will get a, a respectful culture. Well, they expect women I mean, in particular, let alone women I mean, in leadership. So everybody that try for moderate themselves so much so for accommodate all the things where the first lady they talk. But at some point, people have to come up and say, oh, well, at least, at least we go for try for advice the first lady or make some comment. Let the first lady understand, say, in, in need for sure appreciation to we, the people we put in husband and high office. Um, thank you very much, um, um, Supermed. Um, I think that was um, nicely delivered. I just want to say one or two things quickly. First of all, thank you very much, Mr. I, uh, um, Benjamin Kaibanja, for the technical advice. Really appreciate that. And uh, this week is here. We get um, brothers and sisters where they look after this platform in the day, which we um, thick and thin, you know, yeah, in the good times, the bad times, the rain, the snow, and etc. Thank you very much. Secondly, I want to say that the chat room, because we experienced this yesterday, and because the chat room being fully loaded, I'm not able to monitor them. Next time going forward, we will get for look for an admin officer. We go to police the chat room, and they appeal to everybody on this particular page. All we ask for is mutual respect. Let you know, yeah, other people then get them views. You say get you views. We can disagree. In the end, for let we agree. This is not just opinion talk, okay? So nothing, not for really drive a wedge so deeply between we that we no one see itself. But we get for continue for disagree and agree. Even if we don't agree, somehow we can go back and come another day and table the argument. And please let we um, show respect to one another. No insults. We need to tolerate insults on this page. We need to tolerate disrespect on this page. All we tolerate is argument. So I can engage you yourself as much as I want in the chat room. And please, please do not forget for share. So this background where I use, of course, now I think I'm the second or third time I use them, but I use them today because of a different element. This is now the main bowl of the stadium. And this is symbolic of the Sierra Leonean people. And every time I speak, of course, people can get in doubt and entitled to run and not make them factual. But every time I speak, I speak in behalf for the people and I'm by the people, and I'm with the people. It's in their behalf that I speak. So this main ball we want to see so a very, very symbolic of the Sierra Leonean people. When it was being built in the late 70s, early 80s, I was there. I attended matches there. At about 11, 12 years old, my mama woke at the hostel. My mama had the cafeteria. So I ate there when it was new, went to the hotel when it was new. And um, it really symbolic, truly, it was built for the people of the Republic. And this stadium has remained so. It has remained steadfast. It has remained there or been there during peacetime, during war times. It never went anywhere. We've used it, you know, yeah, for joy and for sorrow, for pain and for gladi. This particular main balloon at the sea, while other countries, they get squires, they celebrate squires. All we've got to celebrate is this one. When it come for go cheer the national team, this is where we go. When it come, you know, yeah, for go cheer the dead in mass, you know, yeah, and funeral, this is where we go. So for good times and bad times, this is exactly why we're using the main ball of the stadium tonight. Um, Supermed, um, I always call him Supermed, and you know, really mind, and I hope you don't mind publicly. 
um, is a regular contributor to the show. He is known as an all people's Congress person. He doesn't make bones about, I mean, you know, you know, they waste time on that talk day. And we're going to come particularly for a, exercise that part of our day. When I say he is um, APC, he's APC to the core, but I don't mean to say um, he extreme and unreasonable. But Una can make the judgment. My next question is still on the first lady, although you attend for address everything else about them. And um, it's actually, she has been relatively quiet lately. As you know, Yasuo will let for play on the mindset of people at times. Do you think finally the president don't put a foot down, don't put in pedal down and tell and say, look, please? Because it inconvenient the president. There's no need for Lewy means with words. It undermines the president. She's not politically elected, so she can't make political statements. Although against supporters, we think so. But no, she cannot. She cannot order the police, neither the armed forces of the Republic of Sierra Leone. She cannot be seen doing that. She needs to be seen as that benevolent, benign, just like you say, mama of the land. So the question again, one final question on this first lady. If you think, say, the pardon put in food down small, say, do you, um, come down a little bit. Um, let her take care of um, the business of governing the country. What's your take, please? Yeah, thank you very much, once more again. And a very important, make the, he also know, say, the power, when they govern the country, not the only govern the country, only young those just come up to. It belongs to a political party. We have believed that one of the oldest political parties in West Africa. So the, there are other players, key players in that political party. They, we have believed, say, they're going to more some put water to the power and call two key people together, say. But um, the mommy, do you are, make a, make we advise and make, you know, they make them political statements here because it's not good for, like what you say no more, it go undermine any progress we get for make. And it's not good as well for the political um, landscape that the country. For instance, that mob justice, it signifies a lot and it worries people um, too much. When many people make comments about them, and like we are saying, when you ask the mommy for the country, it's not fine for them to talk something the way they worry people and where they make people afraid. Unless you find for them to talk something that will make people feel happy, where they encourage people um, at these difficult times and, and very happy or peaceful time, whatever time. So very, very important to make the first lady understand that. And I believe like, what you say so no more. It probably be said through the party apparatus. They don't go to the, the first gentleman and maybe they don't get a word with them. And we hope say in the near future, things will change from our own side in relation to the short statement they really make in our social media. Okay, let me move to real politic. And now they talk about politic with a K. Then the real politicking. Um development. It's a process. And as a political pundit and analyzer yourself, you will fully understand that it is a process and it's not an event. The reason why I make that statement day, we bothered on the question where they come, is there has been plenty of denial, especially when things are not going right, on the part of the current government led by His Excellency retired Brigadier Julius Madabio, in which stones are quick to be cast, in which accusations are quick to be made, especially, I repeat, when things are not going right. But of course, within the same vein, if it is right, then it's obvious that credit can be taken. Two years on in power, do you think that your party is being fairly treated? in terms of the way they are being accused of the way they run government two years back. Um, thank you. And that, that is that, that a very, very critical question because what you do, if I, the people themselves, they see the difference. Like what you say no more, um, development is a process, not so instant thing where I will say today, and they can't develop this country, then tomorrow, they all thing develop, not so. You get to make sure so you build the structures then, the framework, the everything, the process will go on smoothly through the structures and they say that development say they take place small, 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 say you move the country to Usai Wangu. But what do we see from this um, current administration, the SLPP government headed by President Madabio, we don't see plenty, plenty, some what people play call now as the blame game. And unfortunately, it's over three years now where this administration don't take governance. 
all what you will see is oh that the previous uh, um, regime that the previous i mean the previous administration and then we don't do this i make unable to do this i make unable to do this i make unable to do this but now people in the act say okay papa government what you wanna say now say we know one can do una they can do una they able for do because una people them bring a kind of governance because una fix they can fix things they wanna fix say they're broken now we don't get the opportunity this is two years coming now but what the people they see is in fact everything they redress backward who say to me there now instead of things they go before things they go backward for and the promises them them them, them plenty like where they talk so we know of the bakery where they talk say we employ five thousand people then we don't kind of say they don't get the business people they can't wait and call up to today to not see nothing then if you can remember long ago when they go for that first um african china summit now china they say businessman they can't they can open count 200 buses them transportation and the country this that up to today to not see nothing and waiting people that they see now big company in the country they close down regardless of the contract or whatever contract then company have be employ plenty plenty people now that they close down they implement any all they go they never need all they go but nothing is coming in so everybody's asking questions i say papa government what's in the happen because everybody now clearly know within the government says so that knowledge i'm saying when they get uh, um, the gun ganga the gun guy when are the popular saying the gun guy even the first day he says so can say the gun guy so this is categorically clear now to everybody but how do you go and go able to soak now we get a process like when you say well, everything a process the private sector international investors and go play a very very key role because if they can they open a business and industry what they call and they will employ people and through that employment the people are able to empower themselves uplift their families them and if them turn not then at the country at all at all investment in the kind of the country then when they see the prices of basic commodities when a hyperinflation they rise all the time seen and they were two years ago now the price don't go up over 50 percent over 40 percent these are basic commodities so people are asking what's what is actually happening if we not be don't say this previous administration who said what time they do in not correct or all the problem we don't highlight why are we unable to stabilize what this previous administration we don't left self make people know say okay if we don't left bread two thousand years if we're unable to put the bread down to one five eight self but at least there are two thousand years there people are going to know say okay we're unable to work on the process for move things before but that's not they happen what do people they see that two thousand years bread or they decide they go up to three thousand four thousand and then they see job they're not there then they see some sort of um draconian tax system they come in <coughs> so what thank you say you know where we squeeze stone put water panam you know all those sorts of things and people now they come to the belief say but there's a contradiction here what in them people they do before the other administration they do where this government they oppose them throughout say they do well they do this they do that and what's in the long Canada governance what in then they do compared to that previous administration people are saying but in fact the people are yearning now for the previous administration you see you go up and down the country people are yearning for the pre previous administration even that, so so much so that the strong goal of this current administration that the southeast people and then they say well where happens to be in a power at least we'll be able to get the basic things in thing be there will not say lights be there we will not say we were going to market it we will buy something because what you do the leos at least if you get some stack it be stagnant in exchange rates as i talk so now a one leons and uh, one dollar is over a million uh, 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 over ten thousand uh, uh, um, leons you know when it's just two years ago one dollar and about seven seven thousand four to um forty to fifty thousand leons so you see the, the, the hyperinflation this is now the quarter of them don't cut it don't go pant up so all this it they affect the 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 the, the fabric of the whole nation and like yeah, what you but, said, um, um, super 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 man for play the devil's advocate here um wouldn't you think say that um at least there, there are external factors that could be responsible if not wholly but part of the problem could be due to external factors well i'm 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 at the beginning for the doubt which external factors are going to use for play here I mean, we're not saying now we we'll get this global pandemic, but don't forget this global pandemic just don't come. Where it just entered our country, maybe just a week ago. So I mean, the world we know now now the world they're in a serious situation when our health pandemic where they affect 
online baby country the economy is in. We know that now. But prior to that, we cannot see any external factor over saying that and cause this problem. Because at the end of the day, when you get to your country, like when you say no more so development type process, you never put the, the structures them in place where go entice people then for can make investment at your country. You never put policies them in place where go make the, 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 the business community go able to try. Like for instance, this government come, then then we move the subsidy over the day, but basic commodities a Christ and fear. And we always be the talk and say, even if you go get a grant or a loan, whatever, from any international body, you got to tell and say, well, we got to pay you back. We're not going to take the, the engine of the economy, you choke them. If you choke them, we're not able to grow. If we're not able to grow, how are they able to pay you back? So all of these things don't contribute greatly. So me, me basically, see, I'm saying, it's all about policies. If you don't get the right policies, then the guy, you put the right structures in place, then you're not able to move from, um, from one to two. Because you always, if you not take time, say they come up from one to zero. And so when before, basically we're still like zoom in on um, the policy talk where you talk the right <coughs> policy and the wrong and the right policy and the wrong policies. Um, I hope say so you're okay, brother. You know, yeah, COVID 19 is, is around and it's real. And you know, but thank God, I, I think I'm okay for the time. I think I'm okay. <laughs> I don't know whether that it's good night guy. Anyway, yes. COVID 19 is real. I hope say so we all they keep safe. I hope say we all the help for provide sensitization to we people them. And I hope say we all they encourage we people them for listen to authority government in this case, although there are one, two, three critical things then where we need for the race so that we can up the game because we are in this together, but we go touch on that shortly. The thing I want to touch on external issues basically, but you say you don't they look and you're not able to see waiting really for the external factors. But I don't know whether um, external factor can be due to the fact that some of the things the way we the export, where they generate foreign currency for we, Forex, when they lose their value, i.e. iron ore, when are one of the major export um, material and the commodity, okay, it loses its value at the international market. Sure enough, that will affect the economy back home. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. But this not happen now when this administration take, take over governance. It will not happen before this administration kind of governance. Yeah, yes, the previous administration be able to maintain the economic status in the country in a way that we will, will be see inflation, but not all this kind of inflation with the CISO. And they will be able to make sure, say, they're able to work with them companies in there for every company in the country. Because we know, say, even when this administration can meet the company, the company like Shandong Steel, like SN mining, them be they, them still able to operate despite all the challenges where the global markets bring can on them. So this is all I'm really about to say. It's about how you they um, engage with um, um, development partners then. because these investors who are seen as development partners in our country, one way or the other, then they create employment and then they bring can revenue in the country because they pay taxation and so on and so forth. Then get contracts and then get agreements with the government where one way or the other, money they come from them where they help the country for invest by other things and for basic things like education, health, and so on and so forth. Now this administration come, one reason or the other, decide for terminate short contracts. But again, when you do something, you get for look at you get for look at a holistic picture. Because I, I remember say we young small but people were older past with and remember where that long side mine in the first mine over there because of my mines. Since when my grandpa mine close, it took we years for able to attract other people and for go invest in our country. Because you know, we country, unfortunately, we got to understand say na a, na, 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 na a fragile state. Na so classify the international um, what's it called? You know, and a uh, state where they recover from war. So many investors then they're very jittery for go invest. And obviously, the way how they invest, uh, how the international market they operate. Countries in Africa are always put at disadvantage. We all know that. We are at a disadvantage. So we get for use whatever ability and weight and control we get for entice people and for car invest in our country. Because um, then kill people they say, they say we want kill ant for let's see in God for take 10 kilo. So we would only reach to a certain level where we can't get on reach to a level where before so we will sustain ourselves. Then say no, they will come to some company and say no. This operation, this operation, where they do so, it not suits we. 
you either uplift her or we can terminate your contract because in order to win advantage. Because by then, if, if the company left full self, they will cushion her. You see, now let me uh, let an example I give the SN mining. This SN mining were employing over 3,000 people. In. Then 3,000 people, they are so say each one person gets nearly 10, 20 people only being So you see the amount of people they were not lost out since when they lost their employment state. So these are the key things here they talk about. So then they, we all know Africa has been exploited. Most of the contracts and the agreements them, we are at disadvantage because we not get a, a solid foundation where we work together as one unit, one continent, where we speak with one voice. You see, so the time you go say, me, I don't know, I know sell and so, but unfortunately, the guinea selling the selling own, then me, the, 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 the bars that will just left me and go like guinea. So, so me go left and take you. Make I begin take you on specifics, Mr. We don't lost your audio. We've lost yeah, your hello? audio. We've lost your audio. We've lost you your audio. You hear me now? Yes, you don't, you're back. Okay. I'm sorry, frozen, so, frozen, but I guess. I've been in there. La holds you there. La holds you there. Because the second half of this program. Super, you hear me? I hear you absolutely clearly, yes. Good. Um, you know, we get a part, we still get Lily time, but we get so much for cover before the part two, we senior, um, um, get for, you know, yeah, come and replace um, the seats that you're on now. Um, I want to go to specifics, okay? Because yes. uh, undoubtedly you appear as a man who is, who is informed and, um, it's not driven in a temple by party, you know, your party lines. Of course, if you are, we will challenge you on issues here tonight. So we know say the Mines and Minerals Act. These are things the way you're very close to, you don't read about them. So they are important to you and important to this platform here tonight, as we talk about the two years history um, um, in governance of um, um, retired brigadier Julius Madadio. The Mines and Mineral Act was enacted in 2009. That was under your government. The National yes. Mineral Agency was also established. Two critical components of government in the area that was generate revenue for government. But we know, say, uh, some time ago, the current government suspended the licenses of major, major um, 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 miners. And you know, one person I do remember, I think I had an interview with you. You did not fancy the idea. You could not understand, for goodness sake, why they cancel that. I mean, um, uh, um, they suspend the license of them um, um, mining companies. Then they, but the party then and they still stand by that. Say, the contracts that were signed then were unfair contracts to the people of Sierra Leone. So all that they, they try for do now for renegotiate the contracts the day. Okay, I think Mr. Sanko wants to come into the program. No problem, we can admit him in. So we can, uh, um, you then say, uh, that was unfair. But the government said, no, 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 there's a reason why we're doing this. Okay, and it's for the benefit of the people. But now we get the benefit of hindsight as to the time when they've been suspended the contract and all the things that happened thereafter. Where do you stand today, Mr. Um, Kamara? Well, thank you very much again, um, Brad Prince, because it's better way bring Candice back because I feel vindicated with her talk. Because many people began attack me and think saying that because of politics, me they talk him. I said, listen, we all know say like where I be talking about say Africa that would be at a disadvantage. You know, most of the other set the world trade organization, other set all things for the trade business now the world, we they at a disadvantage. And unfortunately, we only talk, we only talk with one voice. Because if we talk with one voice, we are stronger, you know, for able to uh, make sure say we interest in terms of trade is going to be will be richly represented. So for make you come, make that company hope you don't get a, a, a proper a legal agreement with the government, you know, so, and government a continuation. So they don't get a legal and proper agreement for make you can say because you know we let that agreement say you they can't suspend them. We know say right and then I cut for that. You see, and the other thing is as well, they're not be able to do the study, say, what will be the, the impact now we country? What will be the, the, the ramification of all this, of who suspend them? 
How go, the governor will lose? Who sell that, that gap? How will get money for cover that gap? Play? The people they will be creative oh, and employ. They call us the SL mining employ over 3,000 people. Eh? Then people in eh, each one of them cover nearly 10, 20 people. Eh? So all them people in eh, there lost their job. How we go, how we, how we go affect society? You know, all those things you get for now a, now a full picture you get for look when they take that decision they ask you. Because I, okay. I bet I'm not for no say, even in company, they try for engage them. Say, low go, low sit down. Because now this business, so they do, this business, so they do, is very difficult. And it, it will get the first serious challenges then. Now we see, now we see how we will work together for able to improve the agreement between we, but they just went ahead and did that. And we'll see what it costs. All right, uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we just want for welcome with all the guests who we expect for deal with individually. By the way, Mr. Sanko, if you hear me, I think say, you don't you don't mute your microphone. You need, oh yeah, okay, brilliant. Um, by the way, um, Fambule, but you know, able forget light on a camouflage, you try for camouflage, you said, uh, <laughs> we know, we know, we know you now, by the way. You must, you <laughs> uh, anyway, Fambule, on the most serious note, um, we other guests will be expecting, you know, yeah, after we will have left, um, Mr. Mohammed Kamara has joined the program. I don't really mind for take on them both. Maybe Mr. Um, Sankon can continue and Mohammed will get for left later, but we'll get for entertain them both at, at, as at this time, because I think Superman will be prepared to run get roughly about eight or 10 more minutes. To go, yeah. So Mr. Sankon, you just can't meet up, you know, yeah, the issue of um, the mining contract. What I have been say is, on the APC government, the Mines and Minerals Act was enacted, and also the National Minerals Agency was established. Two critical components of government who say revenue generation supposed to come out from. But after a while, the current government sees the Minerals um, Act no viable and not feasible in their own right because they see and they say and say, listen, these contracts that were signed are unfair to the Sierra Leonean people. It was corrupt, and all the other negative adjectives were addendum. From your own view, of course, I mean, just to say, we all now get the benefit of hindsight. And I think, say, at the time then, we did talk about this, or you talk about it somewhere else where I heard, you've been there against that. Take we then, and we, we come back to say we did, on this entire uh, uh, mining contract, Wahala, please, if you will. Um, thank you, Mr. Prince. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Yes. Okay. Good. Right. I, I think um, interestingly, I'm going to talk to <laughs> I'm going to talk to you man today, um, Mr. Spain. Uh, ah, okay. And this, 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 yeah, and I feel say maybe it's a go worth because yesterday I was I was watching you and I be the hope since until we for be able to get the opportunity for call. I believe say like it could be good back for make people and call because sometimes I, I I strongly believe say sometimes they wait the panel and they say something sometimes people like you ask certain question we it be say like and, and yesterday I was so open that I could have asked some question to to just made and and um. And, and Kutubu, but unfortunately, it did not work out that way. But anyway, um, the, the point where I'm making now with this mining contract, I mean, as you rightly say, Mr. Prince, I've talked about this, I mean, more than 20 times. The problem where we can't get, and by the way, I don't know if people don't know, and maybe it's a term that be rumor, the way people are people not be too sure. In fact, like the ICC, the International Chamber of Commerce, don't rule twice against the government. Twice. Um, the government don't, don't refuse twice for actually do what the ICC tell them for do. In other words, SL Mining actually win the case. But the government still refuse for act what actually tell them. You know, people like you ask the question, why Salon Tranga? Why is it so difficult for... The, the man, nam, nam, nam. so, so uh, sorry, I did break yeah. into your flow. I want to understand something myself, including, I sure say, members of the public. 
that the yeah. ICC don't rule against the government of Sierra Leone position. But Sierra Leone yeah. government are they under obligation for accept the ICC they ruling, would they? Yes. Um, well, this is the thing, because in fact, like they be even because the reports we I read, um, they even and this is not directly from the ICC. And um waiting the app like Amen. one minute. Yeah. Okay. Um, Alfred, you hear um, ben, ben just called. I mean, yes, we just begin in 30, in 30 seconds, Ben. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, awesome. it's, 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 it's always on my case. Yes, so you will. If you hear me, I'm super yes, ready. Yes, I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, go ahead, Ben. Yes, Alfred is just giving us an insight into Oh, you did, you did break up. Okay, okay, but Ben, but Ben, for the issue of time, of course, I'll give the platform back. But I know, see, waiting, Alfred Sinner, we run. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sometimes we get for. <laughs> no, no, he didn't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, then I will yield the floor back to Alfred because he's equally capable for defending himself. <laughs> but... Yeah, thank you very much. And don't forget, now you next day on the program, you know, you've been complaining a lot. Now, at the extended invitation to you, we'll talk about the date and time. Thank you. Mm. Okay. okay, okay. Okay, Alfred, um, yes. that was all yours. Uh, okay. Do you want to respond, please? Absolutely. And, and this is exactly before the call came inside where he be say, like, you ask the question, say, so waiting next. That's, that, I, I believe that's the question you ask me. Where Absolutely. Be, exactly. The next step, now, the fact that they actually say the team go go to high court. And, but, but you see, this is not the thing. When I say the rule against SL mining, I talk about the ICC. The ICC is not like um, a court or whatever. It's an arbitration they had. But the rule, against, the rule against the government, twice now the government refused for implement waiting ICC say. <laughs> but let me forget about the court and, and, and the ICC. The ICC, we all know, say, like, as you say, na arbitration. And it's, it's just like a mini court. And not to say like a court, but like they get, then they look, then they listen to this person, they listen to this person, and they kind of like pass, I, I wouldn't say judgment, but they pass something. And the judgment where they pass, I don't, I'm not a legal person. I do not know the name for it. The judgment is in the favor of SL mining. But the government don't refuse twice for do what CC say. But you see, the bigger picture now this, uh, Brad Prince, they, yeah. are, uh, uh, they, they always they tell we say the deal where um, the government signed was wrong. I don't get a problem with that. If the deal was wrong, there was no need for make now, Mr. Ben. I'm sure, call, I'm sure this call is for you again. Okay. Um, hello, caller. Yes, sir. You want you want to address something? You want to address the panel? Yes, I want to two questions and to uh, our you panelists and tonight one one for each uh, panelist. Yeah, but I thought you know yeah, I thought I thought we will exercise restraint. Okay. Check we. It, yeah. At least let them develop you. Of course, Superman has spoken a lot. I'll, I'll call back this one no, no, you, no, no. Please do, please do now, because the man we just they develop something on one particular I'll question, and then. Let's allow, I still get the question in mind. I'll keep on there for 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 build up into into the 
Mr. Spain, um, uh, what, what, what's up, um, Mr. Alfred Sanko Senior and Mr. Victor Spain? It's a quite different thing, you know, here yeah, on um, Facebook. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, please call back with your question. Of course, we're happy for taking your phone call at any time, but it will be on better twice in the first question to try to develop something. And I think we're everybody interested in. And in fact, maybe the formation of your question might even change. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, that's very good. Thank you very much. No worries at all, sir. Pleasure always. No worries at all. Thank you very much, Mr. Spain. Okay, that was Mr. Spain. And um, yeah, please continue. Right. Um, so you see, Mr. Prince, when we look at a county, you know, like if we want, like, because the bigger picture that is now the reputation, there is like this massive reputation risk we involve. And with this reputation, the cause now we county. Now, for make like, and, and by the way, um, sorry, something they pop up on the screen. When you look at Wikonti, you know, the, this is something I always say. We talk about like the contracts they're being terminated. People, people, have been, you remember like people and complain about, was it SL mining or Af African minerals? Yeah. They complain like years back they said we'll give African minerals hundred years contracts and all that thing in there. If you remember, like I be talk one thing way, I say, you know, in a contract negotiation, now who that gets the bad power? Always the person will get the bargaining power. In other words, the person will hold the sharp side to the nerve. Always get tendency for drive that contract day or the negotiation. You see, the problem we get now with country, this thing, all thing when they talk about SL mining and being arrange a bad deal, that is perfectly all right. It was good that the government can pull up out. But what did the government for don't do now for renegotiate these contracts? And now we not forget SL mining, they get a corporate social responsibility to the people of Sierra Leone. If they no say, if the government can prove, say SL mining. They, they actually they rip the people of Sierra Leone off. SL mining obliged for change the contract. If even the past government be don't sign a deal with be dodgy or where be say like be so now be personal somebody in benefit. I can give you an example, um, uh, uh, Mr. Prince. The UK where we day. <laughs> Do you remember years back? Tesco been the rip off the supplier them, the small supplier them. What did happen? Because Tesco realize about their reputation, see, and say people are going to begin to perceive them, say, then they, 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 they rip off like small suppliers then because of the dominance in the, in the supermarket um, 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 market. Mm -hmm. So basically, Tesco had to go back to the drawing board and begin a kind of like they treat their supplier then fairly. So this is the thing. Some of the company there, remember, SL Mining is owned by Gerald Holding. Do you know the kind of bad reputation where it gets to we country for make them see and say we terminate contract and not only terminate the contract, a court of arbitration, uh, like an arbitration uh, court go sit and kind of like pass judgment and we still refuse. You know what the impact where it gets to we country? But people are not able to understand and see and say the impact now are, we care for kind of like build reputation. The impact, they, they, they actually... The government make up a story about SL mining. Yeah. They talk about royalty. There's a lot of royalty. They talk, okay, yes, royalty. You know what they say? They say SL mining been the sell to the sister company. But waiting people are not able to understand now this. They get one thing in um, finance, economics, whether they call like transfer pricing. Transfer pricing, no, they stop you for sale to who, if you want you if you want if you want you sell to your grandpa you sell to your granny they don't stop you from doing that however you should always if you want to sell to your granny sell up sell to your granny at a market price so that's it they don't get nothing for making affect the contract between the country and SL mining because okay. always we need for do now for make sure say whether you sell to you you 
you you you you model law or you or you follow law we don't care make sure so you sell at the market rate this is not the thing where the government kind of like they're they're, they're full we completely about it's going to make the thing like i say sl money they do something wrong but listen the international the international chamber of commerce these are people where get reputation at the world in fact the headquarters are actually there in france they get like um, uh, a body in, in the UK. But the point is, like, these people would not even want to, their, their reputation, like, in a way, like, as an um, organization, for making their entities, for making them go rule against the government of Sierra Leone if they don't say the things. Oh, yeah, absolutely, because then credibility will definitely be at stake. And all Abs of this has to be taken into consideration. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Absolutely. The reason why we need for calm um, on a one-to-one -one, because the time is really never enough because you can get to the nitty gritty. And the same thing applies to Supermed, you know, where people want to actually explain the X, Y, and Z of the issues so that the layman, the layman can get an absolute understanding. Right. Yes, Ben, I know you get a question for the panel. Oh, yeah. something. Yeah. There is a competition responsibility when you don't need every contract. For instance, let me give you an example now. They came out mind when they know now, then they don't stabilize the student then, then they cause them to broke the outside. They don't move them, move them away from the whole outside. That means they still the order of food for them. If you don't have to go to school, it's almost about 10 months. So, so, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Ben, Mr. Ben, so what's the point, please? Go to the point, please. The point is that. So make a make a make a make a yeah, you say something interesting, Ben. Come Ben, come down, Ben, come down. You're working yourself up, brother. Come down. <laughs> okay, make a understand something on a more serious note, uh, brother Ben. So corporate social responsibility of late, because it's something new, but has been in so in, in these contracts lately. But what you they say is they've never been police or you you know yeah and um, implemented. Is that your case? Ben, Ben, you are on Ben, you are on international platform, Ben. Yes, that's the end of the problem because we are still in the day, not only for the government, we have a duty for go up on that for something that's really on that one that that was not position with for instance. Right, so so we get okay. So point point taken, Ben. And um, you also say you two words. This is one CSR, corporate social responsibility. And um, we we it's noted. What do you say? You don't. For, I should sure say you don't forget about the second one. Or are you are the second? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, but, 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 but Mr. Ben, I don't understand the correlation between the, the, the speaker on the platform and then you coming in, you know, you're trying to make a point in order was to scold the speaker for apparently 
the way how you use the cho the choice of word where you use. I I I I'm a bit lost here, but your point is noted. Well, Yeah, but Ben, what is wrong with that? It's supposed to be implemented. Exactly. If it's there and it's not exactly. being implemented, that's what wrong. Is it? And it's exactly. what it is, it's criminal negligence, Ben. Exactly. <laughs> Well, this is exactly the problem, you know, yeah, because when you begin to speak, you did say, I'm not coming from a party background line, but this is exactly where you hide in to say somebody else did not previously say it, ascribing the speaker to something else in the past, and why is he saying it now? Uh, Mr. That's the premise, Mr. isn't it? Uh, Mr. Pique, can I, can I just, while he's on the phone, can I say something while he's on the phone? Because I don't, I don't, I don't want to make it go out and come back. Then this is very this is very interesting. But I think say Alfred wants to say something. Um, we're glad the way you the budge in. Alfred, that Alfred said to me that some of them who don't trust him, they they doesn't have to come and body. This is a European organization. <laughs> okay, so that's the point. So implementing corporate social responsibility, which supposed to make with people they live better off. Gain, you know, yeah, waiting as opposed for gain from there or waiting corporate social responsibility stand for that they can reap the profit out of the degradation of their soil, their land. So it doesn't really matter that if it's not implemented. Okay, point noted, Ben. Thank you very much. Um, I will then move on um, to Mr. Kamara. I want to talk about private investment and foreign direct investment and the public-private partnership. That unit was set up previously. The reason why they go through this, remember, this program is part and parcel of the report where we hold yesterday. So this is just an extension, but we not talk about all the things then because two years is quite a lot. So we get a different panel um, tonight, uh, Fambulem. And um, again, just for reminder now, we get um, panelist number one, Mr. Um, Mohamed Kamara, aka Supermed, and we get um, a panelist number two, Mr. Alfred Sanko Senior, um, known commonly as Senior and also widely known as um, Salon Cash Box. We know that this unit be set up. This unit would have been set up based on what we say earlier that um, development na a process, not to an event. And when you take over, now structure the now you they meet, and then you carry on with that structure. Then they you can decide for break a structure down. The responsibility will have to be yours. If you decide to carry the structure forward, now of course you expect say it will benefit a nation. This PPP private investment, uh, 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 foreign direct investment, under the public private partnership that was set up as well by the APC government that is being utilized by this government. We hear this word, Boku Boku, during the bridge building or proposal process, that dream, that dream elusive, you know, yeah, um, sort of um, um, bridge building time. Do you think it's adequately been utilized for the purpose for which it was set up? Mr. Kamara, please. Um, thank you very much once more again. And um, a very important way is this um, public-private um, partnership because waiting to, it gets it gets um, relation with waiting to happen so in relation to SN mining and other companies. Because we know say the private investors in our country, now small, small investors, they make the bulk of farm. Small, small business people, they will make the bulk of farm. And we'll be see where the term will be get African meaning and where they come up with plenty, plenty investment at the country. Most of the small, small companies they are so the private investors and the attachment business to um, African mineral and the, the business and able boost. So they say we get plenty, plenty liquidity for invest by the business um, and the country and they able get revenue where if anything can say whether for be invest with governments, then they able to one. But now when business no um, external investment, no they not where they where can the country, we they find out say them business and they all labor we took down. The all labor we took down most of the the, the, the private investors, them, where be the indigenous investors, them, they will be sad, they will be the invest 
a lot. Now they find us in the long quarter, so over fifty percent of the investment because um, trade natural for go round. You know, just they evolve from one person no more. They go round because if me and a businessman, I look at businessman where they produce um, soft drinks. I get at the expect where I produce thousands of crates a day. People are going to buy them. But if people are not get job, they not get earning power for buy them in a day because anything about demand is, I mean, uh, na, na, uh, affordability you get for play day, then my business goes slow down. I'm not going to sell and I let it make profit and how my business will go. So in the layman times, I have to explain and so. So the final say, then be, then the private aspect of that particular way to call it is, it is going nowhere because the ordinary business people are the country, then the capital they go down every day. And don't forget to, these people bring them the draconian taxes. They say no extra. What they do? Then then put put the half subsidies them for import duties them. So people will be pay something for certain container forty million for a container. We maybe come out Asia now they pay nearly sixty million. Well, that twenty million we add so then people are them that them profit margin most of them. So this you don't cut the profit margin. Come out plenty plenty one. And then they will sell for get a profit. So now they go sell for get the profit because they the price up. The people are not able to afford for buy them. So you see the problem here. And so they're not then they're, 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 they're in a catchment to two position. So the final say, even when the government they say that they can build a bridge where they estimate for cost sake or cost close to two billion dollars. Can you imagine? Then they expect say people from the private sector who can make investments. I was just laughing because I remember say, who said people like pull money for equivalent to even 100, 200 million dollars for can invest? Because some people are in capital, they part window since then. Because the business they go before, then they sell and then they make and then they make better income. So our business will go, our thing will work out down, and then they will come. Then this particular SL money business, SL money and contract with government, don't give the country by name. When they see for two years, we know say the president they go all about the world. Say for they have to attract investment for Canada, the country. But nothing happens. And even the 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 the, the airport, my my airport also gets a thing for doing it because I knew about that particular program there because now 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 that area was be very very well. The Chinese have been on gold and on gold and material. They do plenty plenty investments already. So for all the government can they stop automatically and they expect the same Chinese they have for come for and invest for other things. They will just be again and lip service almost say they do them, but never happen. And the 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 the, the proof is there now. They see them. Since this two years, when the president work at all sides, Asia, Europe, America, everywhere, no better investment in the country. Even the ones where they say, put a guinea for come set back, up to now, that hasn't happened. Okay. You see, and and this land not done back one thing back where they, where they create that, where they make the, 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 the environment not conducive. Now, one of the key aspects is the that political climate. You know, we can't in a, a country where they try for come up small, small. So if the political climate not conducive, business people will feel very, um, they, will, they will find it very difficult to go invest in that country. Today. Because all business people, all the international companies, them, when they want to go invest in any country, they do what they call a due diligence for checks that this country is conducive. And one of the key things they look for, now the political uh, aspect of that country. Today. So all of these things are contributing factors to wait till they see so make the country the country can also see so even it will get Ebola. We know they see them, we know they see them kind of inflation rate all they see right now. So can you imagine even when we get Ebola? It's not as bad as they're not bad like they so now. So we all the worry now, we patriotic and progressive Sierra Leone and them, where this COVID-19 don't cancel now, where they create plenty, plenty problem now the Western world where the economy is strong. So remember now we don't call our country. So they pray God may not become widespread because become widespread our country, it's not disaster. So the highest degree, you see that that's what they pray God now for. But just imagine the situation of the country now. Then if you can't pull this again, put some pants up, well, you know. But any, this is thing now that they will be on the top of the advice people in this government, when they talk to people who they support this government and say, listen, we want to succeed. We want to let the thing go before because what the country go before now, all the benefits. So some of their advice are how they give so. Now for letting country go before, let us go succeed. Because if the thing work, now we're get a good name. Although now they give the advice. But unfortunately, I think so that that part is an issue. They cloud okay. some of the thinking most of the time. And uh, and uh, yeah, that unfortunately, now they feel when they say we don't be the talking before. But no one we don't want that good name, they don't want to say we'll be talking. Because now, okay. now we all they suffer, because now we call people all day, now all they suffer. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Kamara. Well said, well articulated.
And um, just a taking a cue from Mr. Kamara on the same PPP, foreign direct investment, high taxation is killing the system, so there's no proper investment. What can you tell the viewers uh, on this particular basis, this particular story about private and um, foreign direct investment and the PPP unit, which was meant or set up by the Aswell government to bring investment or drive investment into the country. But according to Mr. Kamara, it's not working for several reasons. One of them is because of high taxation, um, cutting you know, yeah, the, um, uh, the profit margin of potential investors and many other things like you said. You did listen. What's your view, sir, Mr. Sankoff? Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> very quickly before I go to the, the uh, your question, um, the, uh, Rapike, uh, I just want kind of like say something quickly waiting. Um, uh, Mr. Benjamin actually talk about the CSR. The actual point where I talk about the CSR, the reason why I mentioned about it, as you rightly say, it is not, it, it didn't have the contract. Not to SL mining the responsibility for implement or for make sure say waiting didn't have the contract about CSR is being implemented. It's not, now we for enforce them as a government. Oh, yeah, of course. But by the way, the point where I talk about CSR, we, the reason why I mention about it, and the people say if the government be decide for renegotiate, then for me don't use the CSR for say waiting with a loss, you they deprive the people of Sierra Leone. So we they use the CSR route for make the able give we a fair share of we of the um, of waiting that they make now that they make a mention about that i'm not trying to say csr like it not gets me point my point was use the csr route just like waiting the there's there's small small supplier they be used um, against tesco for make tesco able to give them a fair share so now that route they have been used say we will supposed to use the renegotiate um, renegotiation route and use the csr for make sl mining you no know, repair so maybe it gets up. Okay. So um, Brother Ben still there on live, and I believe stay in listen. And thanks right. for the clarification. If Brother okay. Ben, you get any other issues, please feel free for call. But Good. I think the man don't try to make a clarification within the context where you use the CSR. That you exactly. Have so right. Yes, so, and, um, Superman, so, by the way, I get two yeah. more questions for you, and I will let you go. You've done pretty well. I think Alfred can handle the rest of the show. Um, okay, yes, well, let me leave the PDI for direct investment, um, the higher taxation um, band and the cutting, um, the addition on um, containers or imports, you know, yeah, um, that reduce the profit margin of investors and potential investors has led to a dwindling in um, investment, both direct and foreign. Can you elaborate, please? Right, okay. So this, this now be the we, I believe so we we'll don't talk about this now. This Absolutely, week. it never goes away. Exactly. Um, you see, uh, Mr. Prince, as I talk to you right now, um, interestingly, Salon, um, I get an information, an incredible one, where it be say WHO, UNICEF, um, um, WFP, they get tons of... One, one, one minute, sorry for bad yeah. This is important because the issue of CSR has provoked one or two things in the chat room. Okay. And um, the comment there for me to inform the guests that CSR... Is all I believe the guest were. I mean, the um, you break up, panel. you break up there. I know, I know, you, uh, uh, this place. yeah, no, no. Um, there is um, um, a contribution in the chat room in which I'm, I'm asked to uh, inform you that CSR is a subjective principle and not binding. So, whilst I do agree with that, and I'm sure the panelist does agree with that and wasn't saying something else. <laughs> He was just saying that if the CSR is in a contract, it's not on the part of the contractor to enforce that principle. It is absolutely the part of government or some agency, some oversight committee to make sure that that is carried out because that's part of the principle. So even though it's subjective, the broader aim of the CSR is the well-being of the people so that the people become the net benefactors as you take away from them they benefit something from what you're taking up from them that's the principle that's the idea they're not saying that you're going to call the law 
you're going to police the law. No, no, it's a basic principle and understanding, if you will like. So it has to be seen because it's mutual. That's what you induct into the contract. So it has to be carried out. Anyway, go on, Alfred. Thanks. Yeah. Um, in fact, in fact, wait, the point where Mr. Bench make about like within the dig hole and left and inside the and all in and day, that is not even part of that is as this right person rightly say, CSR is kind of like um it, it, it builds companies' reputation. Yeah. That's where Mr. Where Mr. Benji they talk. Like, in other words, like they get one thing. In fact, this illegal, an illegal binding thing. They get one thing, what they call like a dilapidation provision. Wherein, like, any side where you go, you will kind of like, in fact, you they make a provision for that for make sure, say, you able to take the thing back to how it be there originally. So the CSR are only mentioned because, in as much as where this government be not inherit a bad contract because of we, we look at the bigger picture where it be say we know how to terminate the contract make other co company then see we like i say we bad we further use the csr route and see and say listen we've got a social responsibility wherein the the, the, the profit where you the percentage of money where you contribute to the government is not good enough for the people of the country that is the route where we for be careful for able to renegotiate with contract and for make somebody say it's not binding, of course it is not binding. But tell me, you know what? It, let me say SL Mining be they make a profit of one million. Then SL Mining go give we like 50,000 euros. We can go back and say, listen, do you really think this is fair? It's all about the fairness. It's all about, in fact, waiting. Now, we for me the only sharp side to the net where it be say, we for me able to sell CSL mining if you not increase the percentage of money within the Kiwi. We for me publish now the world to say, SL mining, they rip we country off. Which and, they no will like, which they exactly. no will like at all, and they will come and exactly. take quickly and try to because then our reputation has done Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And this, these are country that this, like for as I say, Gerald Olding. Gerald Olding now, now the parent company of SL Mining. So Gerald Olding himself no go once that can use them day because in fact the world don't say most companies then they rip off like African countries them. So we for we don't be in a very good position position for say you know what let me fight them this way. So if we don't be it's so easy for we for make we win that case the way be say Gerald Olding go even afraid. As I talk to you, uh, uh, Mr. Prince, you see. We get for waiting the waiting salon people and they fail for realize, you know the biggest diamond company in the, in the UK. I don't know if not the world, but one of the biggest in the world. When are um, um, the beers? I mean, they read the beers like the 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 old corporate structure and the, the, the business plan and all that thing. You know, say the beers they use like salon diamond them. but yes, they're not uh, uh, for 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 decades now. Yeah, exactly. But they're not the mine salon. No, I think they get one thing what they call artisanal, artisanal mining bar or something like yeah, that. Artisanal, yeah. Yes, they ain't in the use because yeah. the beers they use other company them when they buy salon diamond. Yeah. They, in fact, like most of the diamond, like, like the best in the world. Exactly, most of the production they come on at Botswana. Sixty percent of them. Yeah, that's where they Botswana. focus in South Africa. And exactly. Africa and the Africa, reason Belgium. Uh, yes, you tell me with this relationship with SL Mining and Gerald Holding. Tell me. Except blind man, Nango decides say, okay, I will still go to salon. Because they don't, we, we reputation is kind of like being dented. Why we don't see under way they? You know, we let we not go put now this me papa they say I don't go put fire and I'll be old for sake of mosquito. Why we know why you need for go destroy the whole country in reputation just because you see and say you know it's at a fight. Yes, let me fight for the good thing, but let me use them the right way. We need to be professional. Take them kill and and for make you say in God, but this they affect we now. You know, I listen anyway. Man, no be it. Let's go to the FDI and the and the PPP. Yeah. Let's. I mean, of course, as Superman just say, um, when you look at the old FDI, what's in the drive like FDI? It takes political stability. Mm -hmm. It takes reputation. Which, like, we reputation is been it, it, it's in tatters now because of SL mining. It go back to the same point. What how about the political stability in the country? 
You see, people learn the joke with, you know, when we read it, we can't see, we still the talk say, oh, this, this party is a big politics past this other party. Then no, no, say this thing that in the destroy we country. You cannot attract any sober investor. And you, you know, when people and they talk about oh, the, the leons they go down, the dollar they go up. You know, the basic principle, Mr. Prince, what's in the drive currency now? Investment flow now in the drive you currency. You know, like when people trust your country. Forget about, um, you know, I, I listened where somebody then they talk yesterday, say, oh, like now, now this very program um, just made they talk about like um, inflation, say the country inflation, at least this government inflation don't go down small. I listen, I was like, listen, you know, there are two, I mean, three sides to, to this whole inflation thing. You get this, this um, um, cost push inflation, you get the demand pool inflation. In other words, what's the right for me? If like people and all get money for spend into the economy, of course you inflation bound for good on. You see, this is not the thing where people and they actually they, they they understand certain certain principles where business and I can they I can they kind of like not to say like struggle, but I can kind of like they find them difficult for able because for instance, Mr. Uh, Mr. Prince. Again, this is an economy. I hope say, I need to kind of like take people away from this thing. They get to no, no, there, are, there, there are people are kind of interested. Uh, it's very interesting, by the way. And the sister asks a question, and I'm yeah. saying that to you. So yeah. let me just read that to you. Probably you might want to address that because I think they get something for you to talk about. Yeah. We really want to hear what aspect of the contract that is not good or that is corrupt. Sometimes these uh, rhetorics can be subjective. Let's hear it now, shall we? Yeah, um, I, well, unfortunately, I don't get the detail of the contract. OK, we'll deal with oh. that some other time. No, but, but it's not enough. Watch me. No, it's OK. Come with our no. Gismed, Gismed, Fodima Misuma versus Mr. Sanko Kashbo. How about that part? Um, I'm working on that in the back. No, but if I mouth hopefully coming soon, right here, sometime in the future. Yeah, go on, please. Um, yeah, but you see, I can kind of like because all waiting with the talk about now based on waiting the minister of minds been tell we. First of all, it the reason the, this is not the thing that we a point out say been bad. It talk about the transfer pricing we I mentioned earlier. It say the um the country, it say. It's a um, SL mining be the cell. Yeah, hold on, hold on there. 30 seconds, please, Ben. Okay. Yeah, it say SL mining be the cell to the sister company. This is one of the reasons that one day we make the the feel say the contract was a, was a bad contract. But Mr. That, okay. that that in itself, not supposed for make we cancel a contract. They, it also talk say. SL mining be only they pay 400,000 leons or, or some or 400,000 dollar out of almost million where they make. So this go, goes back to my point. First of all, the, the transfer price, the um, the one way talk say SL mining be the sell to the sister company, that one day no get nothing for do with we. Because right. what a government supposed to do. I go get for move on. I go get for move on to the next question because we fastly they run out of time but for uh, your information i've got a caller on the line caller if you can identify yourself where you're calling from please and you can go on with your point yeah go on please yeah go ahead please the two parties they not stress about the foreign investment foreign investment and that's why we don't do the missing. Okay. Let's go back to before this government, we have foreign investors, um, as we said, we have knowledge, put them this to a loan. Right. Because that I have a company where we have been in the Mayamba, the other one, the whole company like they take. But they come in, they don't lock shop because this new government come. They come in and they declare bankruptcy under this old government, under the old government. And there's one thing where they say foreign investors don't to go. Foreign investors are the big of both your loan because the previous government of the day for nine the citizens of your loan for rip up these foreign investors. So within the investment, the international investment cabal, they send us a clear message saying, yeah, now you go invest there, and the government they sponsor is is the government they back up you. But you can't go, they back up the the shutdown. This was a twenty billion dollar company. Anybody asks why we declare bankruptcy? No, we are sorry. 
Salad is like a dead boy. He drinks, 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 he drin
is better than a snow shilling. Then it, it even happened to them this last December, because you know, say people are in the diaspora, when they can go holiday, then they send more to Karen. You know, then jeep more to Karen also, because so mind they go one week, two weeks, you want to go drive around Freetown, where one car is selling, or whatever, you keep them, or whatever. So then when they send more to Karen, maybe where you go, it will cost you like, I think six, seven million for clear, they all jeep there. Okay, the government be don't say this. Now, eh, like when you go, so maybe the 100 motoka or 1,000 motoka will go. Check them out, you get six, six million for 1,000. So when they come, when they pull all the exemption there, so that six million, go pay nearly now 14 to 15 million. You find out, say, the people who will send motoka now for going to the country, they, if from 1,000, maybe you don't go up to nearly 100 or 200. So if you actually look the money where you make, you actually lost revenue. They'll not be able to know that one day because now you only get 14, 14 million per 100 motor car. Meanwhile, when it's 6 million away they get, you get up a 1,000 motor car. So they lost the revenue for that one day, then all that one day add up for the Tranganes where they see so that the country. And when you look back at the basic commodities, because it affects the people over the, the import gas. So all that affect them greatly. So they pull in the gas cap will go up. We know how much they sell gas in the country. And all this they happen where people are earning, they go down. So people are actually not get money for me, then the, the price that they talk about. So, so you see how the two things they hit the people them double warming. And that ain't continue. Because what's happening now, many business people, or maybe they talk to where Asabi, where be they order like two, three containers per month from Asia. Now they barely order one container a month. So okay. again, if they pay super, super, let me let me stop you there and just um, back up the question because this will be your final question, and I will just bundle all of that and throw them um, to um, um, Mr. Sanko before um, you go because it also get for do with um, um, consequently the question I ask, which is a lot of things happen during this two years period, but as time goes by, people and get engaged in different things. You know, um, there are things are that are. That are significance to other people and very important some people and get for go look at go get for go look for food some people and get for you know yeah, and um, look forward to the project then family then picking and schooling and the rest of it so things you know yeah sort of become memories of a distance past but the fact that we are doing a midterm report in which uh that's ben that's ben again probably it's got something for you yes ben go ahead please ben yeah. Go on, Ben. Go on. You are live. Policy. Most of the time, you see what the photo. Okay. Most of the time, the British, most of the law is passed. Now, how is the law? There is just the other that was passed in the exam. Because what did happen previously? The tax exemption, they have abused them. Let's give an example. Government say all the people when they take the votes as a loan, we bring in the steel, iron, and cement. We're not going to tax you. Because they bring up kind of people road. What did happen? They began to build the system. We are in now. They put away the middle road there. They go make the bread they open the shop there. When they build cement, they get the cement for tax free. Then they go put on a shop. Then they sell the tax, the cement, then they make profit. Yeah. So that's what they're saying. This government now where they can now plan get past the past and let me run because they brought up a shop. Now we find the people that build cement and other things. Yeah. They want to put in the people that build them. And go go to a my case by case study. Yeah. I absolutely agree. Ben, ben, this is a very beautiful contribution from you and I, I, I believe say the entire uh, viewership will agree with you because you are absolutely right. You are spot on. And now that make now the premise down there of the question. So the rush to judgment now in now the issue, it's not like there were no grounds for them to have done it. But just like you say, you've made the case, I can't make it better than you've done. But I really appreciate that. Thanks for that contribution. Thank you. Um, so yes, um, just for add-on, because we they look back and then the forward, you know the sackings of diplomats. Many people will almost have forgotten the scenario, what happened, how it came about. 
um, professional staffs were fired and replaced by non-professional staffs at their jobs. And um, you need for look at um, the PPP, the MCC, and SLETI. Remember SLETI? It still does exist in some sense. The extractive industry. We've been there on the, 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 the auspices of the chief of staff. Okay? And yeah. that job they be scrap, which by extension became that of the chief minister, the office of the chief minister, because everything else now is under the chief minister. So whilst people from those offices were sacked, professional people then, with the PPP, the MCC, and SLETI, but yet still, some other staff were still working behind closed doors, which does not all go um, well. Remember the assault on the Freetown City Council mayor, let's not forget. These are realities, they've been documented, they're not going to go away, it's part of the history of the country. And finally, Mr. Um, Kamara, remember the eviction of a judge from his vehicle whilst he was on his way home from work. Were these not all telltale signs of things to come? Are Absolutely. we really surprised or should no. we be surprised by what is really going on? Not at all, because it's, you know, people like who be done a talk um, say, their actions they are so good, lead we who saw they so they like today, you know, their actions there. And this, what like you say, when they follow the man the most to take. But look, let's say again for now the most two this time. Because they read this, your law will be small and time, not be get sense. Where uh, uh, Albert, uh, Albert Magai take over after the late Samuel Magai. Where the late Albert Magai take over. Now, in force begin to do that one, they will get good, good civil service and that continue. But it was dominated by the Creoles. So, but where it can, because of you one using your support base, it not make like your support base plan, it just kind of pull the Creoles and, and try to put in your support base. Since that turned now, now we, we this we see with service begin the, begin uh, um, collapse. Third year, the same thing this administration can do back. Bring up people them just no more because okay that now this now me they support they are pulling and nobody supports me now put a wire. So even though these people are not get the expertise and not get the experience, you just bring them kind of more inside, and that's again ramification because they're not going to perform the duty when they're supposed to perform well, and it affects the government, it affects the country. You know, and um, then arbitrary pull a um, motor car by this wire and, and disgrace people, them um, sack people, them um, this way. And it's all part and parcel of the political situation. When like you say they create a political instability in a country, and where I be like, where I be saying them also, they're all interrelated as well to the economy. When they do the action, they are saying, nobody, but no, no, say the action, they are, they never stand alone on themselves. They are all interrelated. You know, the politics, the economy, the church, everything is interrelated. So one thing, they affect the other thing. And when they see them, because we only talk about them, over and over and over again, I don't know one time we'll be discuss. I'll be telling you, say, even after the election, I'll be talking for institutes, a judge-led commission of inquiry into the post-election violence. Many people, them, they oppose and say, what's in this? Now I say, no, I say, because maybe they did. And I don't have a election in a salon day. The post-election violence we are seeing this trip, it's too much. I said, then this is not, it's not good because it is set precedent for escalate and escalate and escalate, and it's not good for the country. I said, okay. it's it very important to set them up. Many inquiry go, no, who are the victims? Who are the perpetrators? I said, but foremost important for put mechanism in place, make it not go happen again. You see, for the last form of mistakes, because we are human beings, we we'll constantly make mistakes, but they say, Person, no call person in food, but I already made the same mistake over and over again. You see, so okay. we need to learn from all lengths here. And um, the unfortunate, because what you know, we'll be the talk them, we'll be the up saying, no, go, it never happened. So, but look what's going happen now. You see, right. and now, unfortunately, this world pandemic don't come, and this don't come into our country. We'll just pray God, make it not become widespread, because the situation of people they go to the right side of the country, with this pandemic again, come and tap, if this become widespread. Can you imagine? It could be unbearable. Look at this, how they make that three days lockdown. So Monday, na, when you come on a door, one day, now they go fancy for it, it eat. So you go there for the three days that us, you know, it's nothing. You know, that big problem. Then you get some overzealous security officers then, where fish on and say lockdown and flat lock up, where before saying, no, for come on a room again, if you lock the room, the place right. warm, you know, 
Lock, okay, lock super. okay, Superman. I mean, this is this is an unending topic, and it can go on and on and on and on and on. I've got Ben on the on the line before I let you go. I don't know whether this is for you or it's for Alfred. But of course, you've answered your final question, and I really appreciate that. Ben, you're live. Yeah, this was Superman. We went to a men's room. First of all, I'm sick of the community of empowering as Superman say it's not our heart. So you they you they intimate say that there will be no end to this. It will be a revolving door, even as evil as it is. So are you saying that the last five years, the people that will be pulling at the job there, it be related like um, regional or tribal? Is that what you're implying? Okay, Ben. But that's what Superman is calling for in effect, uh, uh, Ben. That somewhere has to stop. Yeah, but you just chastise, you just chastise a member of the panel simply because he they call for waiting. Finally, you didn't recommend so. He said that's what he's been calling for.